Hello, you guys. Let's talk about Chapter 8, Lesson 7, Quadrilaterals and Their Areas. Well, the first thing we have to do is make sure we know what we're talking about. So a quadrilateral, underline the first four letters, Q-U-A-D. Quad means four. So it's any polygon with four sides. Um, so take a look at trapezoid. Uh, a trapezoid has four sides and two of the sides, the top and the bottom, are parallel, okay? That means they would never touch. They're always the same distance apart. Now, a parallelogram um, looks like this shape right here, and to me it reminds me of a rectangle that's leaning on its side, but it has two pairs of parallel sides, so the top and the bottom are parallel, and the sides are parallel. A rhombus has four sides that are equal, they're congruent. So it looks just like a diamond. And then remember a parallelogram is kind of related to a rectangle. A rectangle is a parallelogram where it has four right angles and a rhombus is related to a square um, because a square has four sides, they're all equal, all congruent, and they have four right angles. Alright, take a look at example one, classifying. That just means naming a quadrilateral. So if we're looking at this shape, we want to try to figure out how many sides are parallel. So notice how the top and the bottom, see that little triangle thing? That means that the top and the bottom are parallel. And then see the sides right here where it has two little triangles, two little arrows? That means those two sides are parallel. So both pairs of opposite sides are parallel and it has four sides, obviously, so it this is a parallelogram. Remember, it looks like a rectangle that somebody pushed over. It's leaning on its side. Okay, take a look at the guided practice. We have to classify the quadrilaterals. That means name them, the best name for them. So take a look at number one. See how it has four sides, but I want you to notice how the top and the bottom are parallel, and they even put that little triangle on there. So when it has one pair of parallel sides, it's what we call a trapezoid. Take a look at number two. You know what this shape is. It has two pairs of parallel sides and four right angles. So that means it's a rectangle. And then take a look at number three. It has two pairs of parallel sides. And see this little tick mark? This little tick mark? That means that all four of the sides are the same length. Well, this is what we call a rhombus. All right, so let's find the area of a parallelogram. The area of a parallelogram is just the base times the height. So look at, I make the base blue and I make the height red and they have to touch each other at a right angle. So in algebra, we just say the area would be base times height. If we plug in the numbers, the area would be six times four or 24 square meters. Okay, take a look at example three. Oh, and while I am doing this, I am playing with my dogs, Fiona, her little pink toy. All right, we call it Pinky Bambinky. Okay, so take a look at example three, area and perimeter of a parallelogram. So here's our par parallelogram. Let's first talk about the area. The area is the base times the height. So the base I made blue, the 12, and the height I made red the nine, and remember I know the base and the height because I look for that right angle symbol. So the area is just base times height, 12 times nine, which is 108. Remember, label area correctly, inches to the second power. Area is always units to the second power. All right, oops, sorry. And then perimeter, um, we just add all the outside edges. So the perimeter, I would add 12 plus 10 plus 12 plus 10. So there are two sides that are 12 and two sides that are 10. So I would do 2 times 12 plus 2 times 10. Well, 2 times 12 is 24 plus 2 times 10 is 20. When I add that together, I get 44 inches. Now remember, perimeter is just the outside edges. So that's why I just label it inches. Okay, let's talk about the area of a trapezoid. This is really cool. You know how area is normally just base times height? Well, the problem with that with a trapezoid is they have two bases. They have a small base, this blue, uh, and a big base down here, this blue. And so, you know, they couldn't decide who is bigger, who is better. So they decided to be fair and take the average. So to get the area of a trapezoid, you have to take the average of the bases 
times the height. Well, to get the average, we would add them up and divide by 2. So that's how this formula came to be. The area of a trapezoid is big base plus a little base divided by 2 times the height. So just the area of the bases times the height. And so let's, so in algebra, area is 1 half times, and then you add the bases together times the height. So now I'm going to plug in the numbers 1 half times, and I grab the big base is 11 plus the little base is 5 times the height. So it, we have to do what's in parentheses first. 11 plus 5 is 16, and then 1 half times 16. Well, just think, what's half of 16? Isn't that 8? So it's just 8 times 4, and then 8 times 4 gives me 32. Now, remember, area, you have to label it correctly. So this is 32 centimeters to the second power. Remember, area is always to the second power. Okay, take a look at example four. So they want us to find the area of this trapezoid right here. So remember, area is the average of the bases times the height. So add the bases, divide by two, multiply by the height. So I plug it in. So area equals one half, and then add the bases times the height. So 1 half, and now add the bases. The bases are 24 and 12 times the height is 17. And so we have to do what's in parentheses first. Add the bases, that gives us 36. So 1 half times 36 times 17. Well, I like to take half of an even number. So think of what is half of 36. That's just 18. And then 18 times 17 is 306. So it's 306 square feet. Remember, it's the units to the second power for area. Take a look at the guided practice. They want us to sketch the quadrilateral and then find its area. Well, when they say a parallelogram, I want you to imagine a rectangle that we pushed over, okay? So a parallelogram looks like a rectangle leaning on its side. And then make the base blue, and they want the base to be 13 feet. And the height, make that red, and they want that 8 feet. So to get the area of a parallelogram, it's just base times height. So that would just be 13 times 8, or 104 square feet. Now for a trapezoid, remember you have to do a big base and a little base on top, and then connect the line segments. So um, they want a trapezoid with bases of 15 and 10 yards. So make the big base 15, the little base 10, and then they want a height of 6. So the area for a trapezoid is the average of the bases, times the height. Well, so I add up the bases, 15 plus 10, and then divided by 2 times the height, which is 6. Now, I thought it would be easier here if I make it look like fractions. So add the bases, put that over 2, times 6 over 1, because I'm going to uh, cross-cancel the 2 and the 6. Remember, 2 divided by 2 gives me 1, 6 divided by 2 gives me 3. So now I just have to add those numbers, 15 plus 10 is 25, and then times 3 is 75. So this, the area of this trapezoid would be 75 yards to the second power. Okay, so just go ahead and lightly cross off example 5. And then I want you to tell me what toy was I playing with my dog, Fiona. What toy did I play with her? And then tell me right here on this page.